Well, a gambler walked into a bar with an octopus in a great big jar. Set it down, said to the bartender, tell you what, I'll bet you a couple of beers against two free hours of work around here that my friend can play any instrument you got. Well, the day was long and the business light and uh, wouldn't pick up till later that night, so the bartender scratched his head and said, why not? So he walked up on that dark bandstand, came back with a flugelhorn in his hand, put it down and said, okay, play me something hot. Then all of a sudden that jar began to shake. And that octopus came slithering out like a great big wad of snakes. He grabbed that horn and rolled around, first on the bar, then on the ground. And the bartender said, you lose in a laughing voice. <laughs> the gambler said, no, he's just confused. It's those three valves he's seldom used. You see, a bugle is his instrument of choice. Well, the octopus and the gambler drank their beers. Then the octopus crawled back in the jar with a burp everyone could hear. The bartender said, now, don't go away. I've got something that he can't play. And he left for a minute and came back with a saxophone. And the gambler said, double down this time. So four more beers were set in the line and the octopus crawled out and two beers were quickly gone. The patrons in the bar all gathered round to see if that saxophone would emit a sound. Then he grabbed that sax and rolled around, first on the bar, then on the ground, till the bartender said, now nah, do you want to concede? <laughs> the gambler said, oh, he's just feeling it out. And before he puts that thing in his mouth, he needs a minute to moisten up his reed. Well, the octopus crawled back in the jar and the gambler drank his beers. The bartender, all frustrated, said, now wait a minute here. I'll bet you the deed to this whole bar, that slimy critter in that jar, can't play an instrument that I've got in the back. And if you lose, the both of you will work for me doing what I choose for the next six months. Now, what do you say to that? The gambler said, well, buddy, you're wrong. Just bring out your sack butt or xylophone. And the bartender said, oh, ho, ho, ho. it's nothing quite that trite. Then he went in the back and soon emerged with the awfulest sound you ever heard and laid down Great Highland Scottish bagpipes. Now, the octopus must have thought those bagpipes glamorous because he caressed them in a manner clearly amorous. Well, they began to roll around first on the bar, then on the ground, till the bartender said, I've got him this time, it's true. <laughs> the gambler said, oh, he'll settle down and play it when he stops fooling around and figures out that playing it is all he's gonna do. Octopus, they were the best, I swear. There was no other like them anywhere. Yeah, the gambler and the octopus, they were a winning pair. A straight royal flush could not compare. Well, it wasn't a fair bet, because the gambler cheated. <laughs> yeah, the octopus was a graduate of Juilliard and a member of the American Federation of Musicians. And he was also president of the Charlie McCoy Fan Club. 
So now you can hear them playing every night in the Gambler's Bar down on Lower Broad. Hey, bartender, eight more beers from my little buddy, if you please. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, y'all, thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell.